Okay, people, uh, this video is just going to be uh, one example where we check out how to calculate a mortgage payment. Now, uh, mortgage payments are most easily calculated using something like the TI-83 graphing calculator, and you use something on that calculator called the TVM solver. Okay, that's what I often use because it's quick. However, um, this formula here is the one we're going to look at today because it's the uh, old-fashioned way of figuring out how to do it using pen and paper and a calculator and so we're gonna look at this one all it is is a rearrangement of this formula here which we just finished doing which was the present value of an annuity formula and uh, it's just been rearranged so that we can figure out what the uh, the payment would be or are okay the regular payment so it's just been rearranged and it looks like this now so let's go do a question together and then we'll at least have a chance at some of the practice questions that come after that and uh, without practice hey it's just not worth it okay a house is purchased for hundred and fifty thousand dollars with a ten percent down payment what is the monthly mortgage on the house with a five-year term at six percent compounded monthly amortized over 25 years. One second here while I cough. Okay, so where was I? We're looking at a house here. It cost $150,000 with a 10% down payment. So before we take that $150,000 and throw it into present value right here, we're, we should um, actually figure out how much money was really borrowed. Because if you have a 10% down payment, it means that you've put some money down from this 150000 so let's quickly figure that out. Um, so if you just go 150,000, and if you multiply that by 10%, or 0 0.10, what do you get? Well, 10% of that, just move the decimal over one place, that's $15,000. Okay, you could do it on the calculator and it would be also quick that way. Um, you would just go hundred and fifty thousand dollars times point one and you would get fifteen thousand dollar down payment so how much money are you really borrowing for this house because you had fifteen thousand dollars well take a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and minus your down payment so how much money how much money are you looking at okay so hundred and fifty minus $15,000 is $135,000. You probably are, were already answering that without the calculator. 35, sorry, $135,000. 35000 would be a steal. 135000 that's still actually a very cheap price for a house, by the way. More, uh, they just keep rising and rising, and this question's probably pretty old. So anyway, $135,000 is our present value. That's how much the house, that's how much we are borrowing to buy this house. Okay, if you remember I, I is when you take um, the interest, sorry, it's right here, 6%, 0 0.06, and you divide by the word. Well, what's the word here? And I'm assuming you've watched the present value vi video and the future value video already so that when I say things like the word you know exactly what I'm talking about okay it says it's compounded monthly monthly is the word so it's 0 0.06 cut up into 12 chunks per year 0 0.06 divided by 12 point zero six divided by 12 0 0.005 so that is I. Okay. The last thing we have to know here, if you look at all the different variables, we got PV, I, and we have N. So let's figure out N. N is the number of years, and I see 25. It's a five-year term, but the, the mortgage is over 25 years. Okay. The five-year term is not really talking about, you're not going to have the house paid off in five years. 
After five years, a term just refers to that's the time that you go and talk about the mortgage and maybe see if you can get a better deal after five years. So don't really include that in this calculation. We really are looking at the 25 years right now because that's actually how long it takes to pay off a house generally. 25, 30 years, it depends how, you know, how wealthy you are. Okay, so 25 times the word, which is 12. So you're going to be making a total of 25 times 12, um, I believe is 300. Okay? So if 25 times 12 is 300, that's your n value. That's n. This is your i value. And over here is your pv. So let's put it in the formula, okay? r is equal to 135,000 times i, which is 0 0.005. Then we're going to divide that by some craziness. It's going to be 1 minus 1 plus i, 0 0.005, to the exponent negative, well, it's n. n was 300, so negative 300. To do this properly on a calculator, well, a cheaper calculator like this style here, which is kind of like the calculator you get on an iPhone, for example, it's not very fancy. So you got to be careful how you do things. So let's figure out the top, and then we'll figure out the bottom, OK? So 135,000. We're going to multiply that by 0 0.005. 675, not so bad. What's going to go on the bottom? Here's how you do the bottom with a calculator like this. Start with what's inside the brackets. So 1 plus 0 0.005, which would be 1.005, to the exponent negative 300, to the exponent negative 300. And that equals, OK, and this is the hard part. You have to go 1 minus this number, OK? 1 minus this number. On some calculators, there's the button that says answer right here. On this calculator, you'd have to put it in memory and then recall the memory. I don't know if we can do that here. I should, I should really try and see. I might be messing it up. 1 minus, let's try to recall. Hey, it worked. Uh, 0. 0. 0.776. 034, should I even bother, 034. The more decimals you use, the more accurate your answer is. But this is really important here. We're going to figure out, <coughs> I'm actually going to put this in memory and go 675 divided by, recall that, oh boy. <laughs> okay, it didn't recall properly, so I'm going to hit clear. 675 divided by the few decimals that I do remember, and I wrote them down, 0 0.776034. Okay, 869.81. 869.81. What does this number mean? That is our monthly payment on this mortgage. Okay, 869.81. And what else? There's another question here. Assuming that, oh wow, the answer was right here all along, folks. Assuming that 869.81 was the payment amount for the entire 25 years, how much was paid in total for this house? Okay, to find the total that you've paid for this house, well, you're paying 869.81. How often are you making that payment? Well, that's N. You're doing that 300 times. Yikes. This is going to be expensive. Let's use our calculator. 869.81 times 300. Wow. 260.943. 
you're paying $260,943 for that house in reality. Okay? How much did you pay in interest for the house? How much did you pay in interest? Well, you take this number and minus how much you actually just borrowed for that house. How much did you actually borrow? You borrowed 135000 Okay? So you're taking this number here and you're going to subtract 135000 And this is the this is how much interest the house cost you. Hundred and twenty five thousand nine hundred and forty three dollars. That's how much money you paid in interest. Do you feel bad? Because you shouldn't. We all we all have mortgages and we all end up paying massive amounts of money to the bank for interest. And um wow. Sometimes you pay almost double just to buy a house, just for the privilege of being able to pay it off slowly because very few of us have that kind of cash up front. All right? Even 10% of a down payment was $15,000, which is basically the price of a car in my opinion. So, yep, not all of us are rich. Okay, that's the end of this video.